Welcome back to Vanessa's Finds and Crafts, part two Easter DIYs. Well, here we have DIY number one, and it is an inspired piece from Walmart. It costs $3.24, and I figured I could make it with Dollar Tree products. So I picked up this jar, as well as this ceramic paint kit with the bunny on it. So I went ahead and I thought, okay, I could go ahead and just glue this bunny on the top of the jar. And for video purposes, I definitely had to use hot glue but I would definitely recommend to use something a lot stronger, possibly E6000 or any other glue that you prefer. Went ahead and just placed this on top of the jar cover. Then I went ahead and I chose a Crimson Waverly chalk paint as well as the white and some of the glitter glue from Crafter Square at Dollar Tree. I went ahead and I mixed a little bit of the crimson with some white. I'm just looking to try to get a cute pink, not too much. So I went ahead and just mixed it. I used that glitter glue to give it some type of a little bit of a shimmer. And I went ahead and just mixed it really, really well. After that, we're just going to go ahead and get that bunny and make sure we cover it really, really well because of the eyes and the little creases of the ears. It takes a little long, but you want to make sure you get everything covered. And then you're just going to go ahead and go down to the top of that glass jar to make sure that you paint it. That did take me about three cover, three actual layers of paint to make sure that it covered really, really well. Once that was done, I used that Dollar Tree ribbon. I just made a cute little bow there so I can put it around the jar. And just placed the top right on there, whichever side you feel is best and that's what it looks like so i actually picked up some of these bunny uh, marshmallow bunnies from dollar tree and i filled up the jar just to stick with the whole bunny theme and that's what it came out looking like i really really liked it just like that but then i also did notice that the inspiration piece from walmart had a gloss to it so what i did was i went ahead and i picked up from a little a uh, haul that I did before from Walmart. I went ahead and got the spray. I sprayed it down. It is very sticky after the fact, but if you give it time, it will dry and be perfect with the shine. And that's what we got. Easter DIY number two from our part two series. And here we picked up some of the foam eggs in different patterns and designs as well as one of the cones and this looks very familiar to most of you it's a candlestick holder as well as a little candle plate i went ahead and those were already stuck together via glue and of course we need some handy dandy hot glue for this project actually a lot of it so we're going to go ahead and just open up and i'm going to start trying to analyze what i'm going to do where i'm going to place it on the dish and I know this is going to be time consuming, so I'm trying to think of different ways that I can go ahead and put this all together. Uh, like I said, I know hot glue is going to get involved, but I was started to think of different ways that it would be a little bit easier to maneuver should I not like where the egg was placed. So you see those little strings come off really easy off of the eggs. And then I'm just going to start placing them around to see where I want them to be placed. And I originally begin with hot glue, but with styrofoam, you have to sit there and 
hold it for at least a couple of seconds before it adheres really, really well. So I just keep going round and around, placing eggs, and I'm just trying to scatter the different patterns and colors. But then I thought about using toothpicks. So I can, because they're both foam, I can go ahead and just insert it into the egg and then place it on the styrofoam cone wherever I want it to go. So good there I cut all of the toothpicks in half so that none of them would stick out and I placed one of the larger eggs that come on a pick from Dollar Tree on the top as the topper I got a couple of little stems and flowers from this greener bouquet from Dollar Tree as well to try and fill in the spaces so you don't see the white cone in the background But then I didn't like the way that the white cone was there. So I said, let's do a take two here and let's start over. So I took the eggs off and I got some of this moss and I'm going to go ahead and just hot glue it all around the cone so that it can hide the white of it when I put these eggs on there. And you can also find this moss, some of it at Dollar Tree, but I had some extra bags from Michael's. Once that is done, I just go ahead and place the larger egg on the top so I can start working from the top towards the bottom. And I'm still using the toothpicks to place them. get the little moss bunny that we have in the three pack that we bought at Dollar Tree and I placed a ribbon around the neck went ahead and put some hot glue on the bottom of the cone so I can place it and it can be sturdy on the actual plate so that it doesn't slide all over the place or topple over. I do the same thing with the bunny, put some hot glue on it. And then after that, I'm just gonna go ahead and use some more of the little stems from the greenery bouquet and just fill in the spaces that are empty. the final product the Easter egg little tree and all of that was what one two three four I say tops is five dollars already had the stand which is a dollar each anyway from Dollar Tree
DIY number three is very simple. I'm just revamping my soap dispenser holder from my kitchen. This is what it looked like. I already took off what I had for Valentine's. I picked up uh, some carrots and some greenery as well as this Easter decor sign. And all I'm gonna do is just go ahead and remove the egg so I can go ahead and use it for this project. That is pretty simple and I actually still have the other two in case I want to use it for anything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and use some Velcro stickers that I, you also can pick up at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to go ahead and apply the Easter egg to the, as you can see, it's a regular crate from Dollar Tree. The little square bottoms that I glued on there and some styrofoam to you hold the greenery. Went ahead and placed the carrots in there as well as some of the greenery uh, to cover the styrofoam. I just hot glued them in there. And real quick, I have an updated soap dispenser holder for my kitchen for spring and Easter this year. DIY number four. So this DIY should be extremely simple, but it's a bit time consuming and possibly even painful. So I picked up these two fabrics from Dollar Tree for Easter and I got my old Christmas ones and I'm going to go ahead and just recycle the filling. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this apart so I can go ahead and use that filling on these new pillows that I'm going to make. So, I mean, the prints are super adorable. We have bunnies all over the place. As you can see, one is pink and white and the other one is multicolor with these pastel, um, not only colors, but the whole print is just adorable. So we're gonna go ahead and get things ready. We're gonna open this up so we can go ahead and fold it as evenly as possible because if you have a sewing machine, I would recommend it for sure. But if you don't, and this is just for temporary uses, we're gonna go ahead and use the hot glue. So we're gonna turn it inside out and we're gonna start gluing at the very close edge as much as possible. Warning, warning, please do use finger protectors because this hurts a lot. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just place the glue. We're gonna go ahead and line up the edges of the fabric as best as possible and just press down to make sure that the glue adheres very well to both sides of the fabric and we're going to go ahead and just go around and do the same thing all around like i said use some protection because that glue hurts when it's really really hot and then we're gonna do the same thing to the other one. And we're just gonna to need to remember that we need to leave a little space open so we can fill these pillows. And here it is where we're just going to glue it halfway up and then just seal it pretty well. And after that, what we're gonna do is just make sure that, and you'll see later what I mean by that all edges are really, really closed up. And then we're gonna go ahead and just turn these inside out and if you have a little stick that, well, at least my little stick came with the filling that I bought at Joann's. They also sell it at Walmart. But if not, you can use a little dowel, a pen, whatever it is to poke out those little corners as best as possible. 
Well, while I was doing some poking, I found that I had a hole and I had to, there it is. I had to go back in and glue it again. So we go ahead and just fill in as much as possible. And on the pink one, I also found I had a little gap as well. So I just went ahead and touched that up. And do you recognize this little thing? It's supposed to be for makeup, but I use it to help me when I have to deal with hot, hot glue and I don't have to touch it and burn my fingers over and over again. So there's a little hack for you if you didn't already know about it. And here's the fun part. We have to close up the pillow. So this takes practice and it took me a couple of times just to make sure that I have the edges very well um, closed together and that they measured up and one wasn't longer than the other. And with my finger protectors, I closed it up. And here we have pillow number one and pillow number two. I loved it. Very easy. Each fabric was a dollar. I just reused the filling from pillows that I already had laying around. So let me know what you think about this little pillow combo. DIY number five. So for this DIY, it is Dollar Tree items except for the clings that are from Dollar General. I have the candlestick holder. I have a sign, which you will see I have removed the letters that were on there with a scraper that I also purchased from Dollar Tree. So we're just going to go ahead and scrape off, which is, as you can see, very, very easy to do. So I can have a clean, clear space to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and get this and as well as the window clings and I'm going to play around with it. I'm not sure exactly which way I want to do it, uh, which one of the clings I want to use. But eventually after going back and forth, I did make a final decision um, as to which ones and where I would place it. So I started putting the little banner up higher uh, with the frame landscape. And after looking at it, I kept you know, thinking, I don't know, is this what I wanna do? As you can see, I will be going a little bit back and forth with it. Again, you will see that I am gonna be using this tool, which you've seen in another video, and it's for makeup, but I think it's great also for um, easing out any bubbles from the window clings themselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and decide that I wanna use the banner that says Easter, as well as the spring and the eggs. But then I looked at it, I was like, oh, I just wanted it to say Easter. So I go ahead and I remove the spring one and back to the drawing board, I move the Easter banner down a little bit further towards the middle and I put the Easter eggs on the top. I did not use any Mod Podge or anything, so it'll be easier to just go ahead and remove. This was so simple, candlestick holder, some twine, glue, and what we got here, what, one, two, maybe three, four dollars the max. I also used two out of the six pack of the carrots. I'm gonna go ahead and just use some hot glue and I'm going to place them where you see and that's it. Pretty simple, economical, and you can always change it up to another holiday or to another season, but I loved the way this came out. Hope you do too. Easter DIY number six, and I'm gonna a two in one because they are both wreaths. And this is an inspiration piece that I saw at Big Lots and I wanted to recreate it using Dollar Tree items. So you can see I have the eucalyptus garland, eggs, ribbon, and the uh, moss bunnies, as well as the wood wreath. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this eucalyptus wreath very simple. We're just going to go ahead and wrap this around the wreath as tight as possible to have it fill in 
every area we can possibly get there and like I said nice and tight so that it doesn't become loose <music> around with the eucalyptus we're going to go ahead and start looking at placing the eggs sporadically around um, I wanted to put it more towards the inside of the wreath and I'm just going to go ahead and fill in with the rest of the colors <music> get the moss bunny I want to place some twine around and just put a cute little bow around his neck <music> Just gonna go ahead and place some hot glue on the bottom of the bunny and I just wanted to place him right there on the bottom of the wreath and that's it that's all it took so this one I'm placed outside of the house and we have here what one two three maybe four dollars to make this wreath and you can always dress it up for whatever occasion you want I really like the way that this came out and then next up we have the second wreath I worked on and that's a much smaller one we're gonna go ahead and use this ribbon a pack of the foam eggs as well as a eucalyptus pig from uh, Walmart actually and of course the wreath you know you see it it is from Dollar Tree so we're gonna go ahead and just proceed and I'm gonna get um, the ribbon I'm gonna make a little bow out of it but the picks I'm gonna go ahead and just start on the sides and just fill in the eggs take off the little strings on the top just trying to figure out where I'm going to place them. Do I want to hang them? Do I want to glue them? I wasn't 100% sure. So I went ahead and just started placing the greenery on in the meantime until I figured out what I wanted to do with the eggs. And then I went ahead and just started to take the ribbons off from the top. And I'm going to go ahead and hot glue these eggs. <music> go ahead and just fill in into little spaces that are bare I have this wreath just very simple I'm not putting too much florals I just like the whole natural wood element of it and not too much of the eggs it just has exactly what I was looking for and like I said with that ribbon I'm gonna go ahead and make a cute little bow as well as with these I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna finally do but it doesn't come out that bad actually we're gonna go ahead and just see how I made this bow and then I'm going to go ahead and tie it around with the thinner ribbons <music> very 
simple. I have this one actually I have it in my kitchen. And I loved it. Hope you guys too. DIY number seven. So I have this two in one super easy DIYs where all I did was pick up one of these flower containers from Dollar Tree and some of the larger foam eggs. And I just placed them inside with some lavender plants I picked up from Lowe's, which, by the way, are not looking good. Anyways, um, I can't keep plants alive in my home, inside my home at least. Outside, they look great. Anyways, this is all I did for this one project. And then my wreath, I have them in previous videos where all I do is revamp it for the current holiday or season. I placed this bow from Dollar Tree on top for the Easter one. And I just placed the large eggs as well here on the bottom, as you can see, to just liven it up a little bit. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.